Hi there everyone, this is Kelly Gettlefinger with Always Stampin' Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to do some simple watercoloring. The um, little Volkswagen Bug from Stampin' Up's new beautiful ride from the Occasions Catalog is so easy to watercolor um, because you love how those vintage um, Volkswagen Bugs look, right? So the watercoloring um, makes it look just like the old time bugs. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little hugs and kisses box that holds two cute little candy kisses. Actually these are the hugs. Um, so <laughs> hugs and kisses and um, it's great because the little stamp uh, image that comes in that stamp set, Beautiful Red, has those hugs and kisses. Um, which is perfect for this cute little box. So let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna stamp our image in Memento Black, the Tuxedo Black. And then we're gonna watercolor it with the Aqua Painters. The yeah, aqua painters are great because they make this super duper easy. Um, I'm going to do this little bug in pink, and I'm using pretty in pink. It's a retired color, but um, it's one of my favorites. So I just pressed on the ink pad while it's closed to pull a little bit of ink in the top of my um, ink pad, the lid. And then I'm going to pick it up with my watercolor, and this is where it gets so easy. You're just going to brush it wherever you want. And it's okay if it doesn't come out the way you want it, because you want it to look old and kind of raggedy. You want it to look like one of those old vintage bugs. All right, so you're just going to do that all over, do, do that with the rest of the pink, and then I always come in with soft sky for my windows. That way they look like they're glass. All right, so I'm curry in here. And then um, I like to use the smoky slate for my wheels. So again, you can just be really haphazard with this. So let me show you, after you cut that out, let me show you what that's going to look like. The pink one, um, this is a card that I made for um, one of my students, uh, is <laughs> old enough to have a baby, and I can't believe that it's been that long since I first started teaching. So anyway, this is going to be for her. I made this cute little card with the um, beautiful ride. And so... Um, Here's one that I got cut out, and I used uh, Marina Mist for my bug color there. And now let me show you how to make that cute little fun hugs and kisses box. You're going to start with a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter inches by five inches. And then you're going to start scoring that piece. Oh, you know what? I think I used my piece um, for my car. So let me just trim this down real quick. All right, four and a quarter by five inches. Now, with the five inches edge to the top of your trimmer, you're going to score it at one half inch, one and a half inch, three and a half inches, and four and a half inches. Then you're going to quarter turn your cardstock so that the four and a quarter edge is at the top of your trimmer, and you're going to score at one quarter inch one and a quarter inch, oops, one and a quarter inch, two and a quarter inch, and three and a quarter inch. It just doesn't get any easier than that, right? All right, now keeping the cardstock in your trimmer, 
you're going to back it down to two and three quarters inch and you're going to come in with your blade to the innermost two score lines and trim away from those score lines okay so that you end up with two little tabs here on the edges all right now you're going to trim away those edges so it's going to look like this this is what you're going to end up trimming away all right so let me show you what that looks like let's see here this no like this <laughs> all right so trim away those outer edges And then what you're going to do when you trim away those outer edges is you're just going to miter your, these little tabs here at angles. So you're just going to trim those little tabs at an angle. Okay, so you end up with this. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is add adhesive to your little tabs. These four little tabs on the edges here. Okay, bring the box in and up, secure the tabs, there you go, so it looks like, whoops, I'm not, yep, not get enough tape, okay, and then you're going to add adhesive to this tiny little edge here. Now before we add that little edge to our car, we want to add a little piece of Velcro, so a little Velcro dot. So I am going to fold my box, and add my Velcro tab right below where that box edge is. Okay. And that's where I'm going to add my car, but I want it to stand up. So, ooh, ooh, it grabbed it. So, I'm just going to line up my car so that my box is hidden and press it to that Velcro tab. So, it looks like this. The box is still open. And so now I'll close my box and I'll just push that car up against the adhesive on that little tab so that when I open my box it's connected to my my car is connected to my box so it looks like that and so there you have it cute little hugs and kisses box I hope you have a creative day thanks for watching